The Google Ads Countdown Customizer is a feature available in your responsive search ads and a little bit in your dynamic search ads. I'll explain this later on. What this feature does is it sets a ticking clock, letting users who see your ads know when your specific sale, promo, or offer is going to end. You can count down by days, down eventually to hours. We're gonna show you how to do this within the video. It really helps build urgency. We've seen it click the rates go up and hopefully you can increase your conversion rates by letting people know if they don't buy now, this offer is going to go away. So we'll show you within the ad setup how to get the countdown customizer within your ad copy so you can test it out yourself. I'm in the Paid Media Pros demo account. Nothing is running. You can see I have a specific campaign selected and I'm already in the ad section within this particular ad group. So first, we're gonna look at creating a new responsive search ad. If I click on the blue plus button, there's our option. For this example, I'm just gonna stick with the Halloween example that we have for the campaign. There's a fake final URL, it probably is an actual site, but we're just gonna keep on going down till we get to headlines. To begin setting up an ad customizer within any of your headlines, just click on any of the headline options and enter in an open curly brace gonna move it out of the way a little bit so you see that's what a curly brace looks like and the second ad customizer option is the countdown customizer I'm gonna cover the syntax portion a little bit later but first I want to get one set up so you can see how it looks like within the ad preview so first select when the countdown ends pretty much when your sale offer or promo is scheduled to end I know Halloween's in October but we're gonna play with March right now besides the date you're looking at the time of day of when the countdown is going to end. So do I want this countdown customizer to time out at the start of March 30th, at the very end of the day on March 30th, or you can look at a custom time. And there you see it's the full 24 hour time. I'm still used to calling it military time. So if you want 8 p.m. within the time zone, you'd have to put it at the 20th hour. But for this example, I'm gonna put it towards the end of the day. So on March 30th, at 11 p.m. in the 59th minute to the 59th second, that's how long this countdown customizer will run. And then you get to choose when the countdown starts. The default option is going to be five days. Five days out from March 30th, users can start to see the customizer within the ad copy. As I said in the intro, the main benefit of this customizer is to build urgency. So if you do something like change the countdown starts to 20 days, that doesn't really speak urgency if you're telling someone they only have three weeks left to get this offer. If I see that in my head, I'm like, okay, I have time. I'm going to wait a little bit and potentially I could just flat out forget about it. If you leave it blank and then click apply, Google will default back to the five days before the countdown end date. Now for Google ads, days are considered the number of midnights, not a full 24 hours. So we know this one's going to end at the very last second on March 30th can pull up my calendar and then count back five midnights. It should be one, two, three, four, five. So in this case, I'm gonna leave it as five. And there we see time zone. This main capitalized countdown, that's the main function, is going to show it by the ad viewer's time zone. So if you have a website that's smart enough to have a sale run up until the very end of the day, when well the main continental United States, there are four time zones. I wanna make sure that the people in California can still get this sale up until midnight their time, because if I just shut it off on the East Coast, that's three hours of missed time for people on the West Coast to get the sale. However, if you're promoting an event where the event is going to start at a specific time, it doesn't matter what time zone the user is in, you may wanna choose account time zone. Now, when you do that, just within the syntax, didn't update it here yet, you see it changed to global countdown. So someone in Florida could see ad text that says, hurry, the event starts in 30 minutes. And at the very same time, someone in Washington state could also see the ad text, hurry, the event starts in 30 minutes. Doesn't matter where the user is, that time is locked in place. But I'm going to stick with the default options and then click apply. Sorry, I had to refresh, accidentally clicked out of the box here. So it totally reset my options. And I know I had March 30th at the end of the month, but to show it in the ad preview, I need a tighter window. So let me just move it to a couple days from now. Countdown is still five days before, ad viewers time zone, and let me click apply. Now hopefully the ad preview stays on paused, but look, it just says two days, because all I've done is just add the syntax. You still need to type out the rest of the ad copy. Now we see in the ad preview, it updated to two days before the sale ends. Before I finished out this specific headline, the syntax only took up eight characters. Now I'm gonna come down 
paste in one option, do it again. In a normal responsive search ad that is completely unpinned, you would just fill out as many headlines as possible, trying to make them as unique as possible while still satisfying these other options to try and get as high of an ad strength score as you can. However, if I'm running these ads at a limited time, I like to test these out as a pinned option. So maybe I want to pin these specifically within the first position, guaranteeing that this countdown customizer is going to show. That gives me the option to highlight all this, copy and paste it, and maybe update my ad copy. Because yes, you can put additional copy before the countdown customizer. Quickly update it here. Let me also pin this to the first position. And there's my other option. Not sure if that one would get proved with the excessive punctuation, but we'll see. Now I know however many options I have for the countdown customizer pinned to position one, at least one of them will always show. The more you pin, the more Google doesn't like it. However, if these are going to run in a limited time, I want to make sure that they show. If your account gets a ton of impressions and visibility and you're okay just sneaking it in there as an unpinned headline for something for you to test, fine. That's totally up to you. Every account is going to be different. But at least you have a few ideas of how the ad could look. For whatever reason, if the end date of your sale or offer ever changes, you can click on the headline. It's going to pull up exactly everything that you have. I'm purposely going to change the end date. I'm going to move it to tomorrow. Apply. Let's just change this one so it's consistent. Click apply. There it says one day. So I need to update it again. I'm trying to show you something that's a little bit more specific than just days. So let me change this to start of day. Click apply. Let's go back up here. And there's one option. Hurry. The sale ends in 12 hours. So just to confirm, it's going to start with days. It will go down to hours. And yes, Google will go down to minutes. And once you have your initial function and syntax created and within your headline, you don't have to change anything unless the end date of your offer, promo sale, whatever changes. Now I added in an additional headline here because one thing Google is going to recommend, and this makes perfect sense, is to make sure that you have at least three headlines that do not include the countdown customizer. This is because at some point the ad could continue running past the end date that you have selected for the ad customizer. If you do that, and especially in this case where we're pinning them to a specific spot, that leaves us with only two other headlines that we could use. So if I don't have any automated rules in place to turn off these ads, pause them, remove them whenever the sale or promo is done, the ad can continue to run with the additional headlines. Now, if I scroll down a little bit, we'll get to the description section. And if you use an open curly brace, there you see that there's an option to add in a countdown customizer. If I click apply, and there we go. Added in a second description. There we see it's starting to show up. I had to make sure that the countdown is the same as the headline. And then similar to the headlines, if I go down a little bit, paste in another option, you want to make sure that you have two non-countdown customizer descriptions. The same reason that you need three non-countdown customizer headlines. It's going to make sure your ad can still run past the end date. Then go ahead, fill in whatever ad copy you still need to fill in, add whatever assets you want to the responsive search ad, and then you could save it. Ah, see, told you, it's going to get flagged. Let's change the exclamation point to a period, and now we could save it. In the intro, I also mentioned dynamic search ads. If I expand this out, choose one of our dynamic search ad demo campaigns. Actually, I should probably choose one of the ad groups, and then I can create an ad. If you're already familiar with dynamic search ads, DSA, whatever you want to call them, you can see we do not have control over the headlines. Google will create the headline based upon the content of the pages you are targeting. But as you probably figured out already, since we just went over it in the responsive search ad example, I could still add the opening curly brace to the descriptions for your dynamic search ads. Add in the timer. Most of it is the same. You can change it to global or leave it as the ad viewer's time zone. But this time you get a unique option of language. All depends on how your site works. If you're translating it, if it's the same URL, that type of thing. Choose from the options available. I'm going to leave it as is, and you can apply. There it just says three days. I'm not going to fill out the rest. See what happens when I click Save New Ad? It actually let me save it with just the countdown customizer. I'm not going to lie. That was unexpected. I thought it was going to yell at me for having the second description. I never run into the scenario before. I still would recommend going up, adding your second description, and saving it to cover you. I'm going to cancel out of this for now. And that's how easy it is to get ad customizers set up in your responsive search ads or your dynamic search ads. 
there used to be issues when we were running countdown customizers for the expanded text ads of copying and pasting these ads within Google Ads Editor. Sometimes Editor didn't recognize the syntax and was flagging for errors, but I haven't had that issue yet with the responsive search ads. So feel free to create the responsive search ad within one ad group and then copy and paste it with an editor to really save you some time so you don't have to manually create the customizer every single ad. As I said earlier, it's going to be completely up to you if you want to test this as a standalone headline within your responsive search ad or pin a variety of countdown options to a specific headline position. I've always been in the mindset of, if this ad is only running for five days, I wanna make sure people actually see it so I can test out the customizer and see what response I get. But it's really gonna come down to how much impressions these ads are going to get within the particular ad group. Within the time frame of when your countdown customizer ads are running, see what happens to your click-through rate. See what happens to your conversion rates. A one-two punch that's gonna help build urgency is making sure that the countdown is also reflected on the landing page. Letting people know that they only have one day left to get a sale within the ad, after people click on the ad, they're not gonna see it anymore. They're gonna see it on the landing page. So letting them know that they only have one day left for a sale in both the ad and the landing page can really help build the urgency even more and try to help you build conversion rates from the initial ad engagement. There's really not too much else you can do with a countdown customizer, but if you have any other additional questions on how it works or potential strategies on how you may want to use countdown customizers, please let everyone know in the comments below. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the Super Thanks button.